gentlemen welcome to the review today we're going to be talking about Emilio Butragueno now Emilio Butragueno has been the vulture for me for for quite a lot of installments and iterations of FIFA I think he's been an incredible striker for me three star skills with a five star weak foot he's got incredible pace attack positioning his passing is very good for an icon and of course he's got fantastic dribbling and a five star weak foot elevates him to a very special special place in my heart in FIFA now the vulture is incredible in this game he truly is just a magnificent striker i remember last year i made a video uh last year i reviewed almost i think i reviewed every single icon in fifa bar a few like drogba I didn't use and La uh, laudra prime icon moments some of the players i didn't use right now i used all the big big boys you know the hulits the eusebios the Cruyffs, and all these guys and listen i i made i made a video talking about I think Butra Gweno 90, the 90 rated mid Butra, is the best icon for value for coins. And so when I started FIFA 23, I was like, right, listen, I'm going to go buy Emilia Butra Gweno again. You know, this is the first icon that I'm going to purchase because he was just truly magnificent for me. He was finishing everything, he was quick, he was electrifying, his dribbling was sensuous, and his short pass was really good for an icon. And everything like that translated into FIFA 23. He, again, he was fantastic. He was a brilliant finisher. He's got fantastic shot power. Shot power is magisterial. And of course, with a five-star weak foot, he can finish on either foot. He's got a finesse shot trait as well, which is a huge thing. So he scored for me so many goals and he was such a complimentary player as well. In the, in the sense that he was a team player, you know, he passed the ball well and everything. Where this card, slightly declines um, from being one of the very very best is physically uh, and of course I think heading is slightly back it back in this game a lot a lot of people are crossing the ball I've played in division six so there's a lot of players crossing the ball and it is competitive and I do realize this game's vastly different so we're looking at a time where having a physical striker will help having somebody diminutive and quite weak as Emilio Butragueno is not going to win you much headers. He's not going to physically stand up to the likes of Rudiger, Van Dijk and these sort of centre backs. So I think that is his real downfall. But right now, he's going for about 900,000 coins. I picked him up for about 926,000 coins off the market a few days ago. But listen, he's been a magnificent striker, okay? He's a very, very good striker. But like I said, I will sit here and say that it, there are times where Messi outplays him. And there is, there is that option where, even though he's got good passing for an icon striker, he's not magnificent. His physicals are not magnificent either. They're, they're, actually, they're actually not... I don't think the, the game right now suits big strikers. Uh, this is the way I'm looking at right now. A lot of people are big strikers who are holding off the centre-backs or scoring headers, scoring volleys and stuff like that. So there is real downsides. I say physically, you know, he's, he's a letdown. But listen, his pace is shooting. His attack positioning, his short pass, in particularly short pass, 100% short pass, is just incredible and that's why i'm more than happy to give this card a 9.2 out of 10. the reason why he's not higher i think 900,000 coins is a lot of a lot of a lot of coinage at the moment okay it's a lot of coins and i think he's physically he's not physically not the strongest and then having someone who's quite tall really helps in this game because there are a lot of people who are crossing the board at the moment people are figuring out how to play fifa 23 because it's so different it's slow it's kind of realistic so people want to know about how do you actually score in this game so when people don't know how to score they are going to run into the box and cross the ball and if you've got somebody like haaland or a van basten or, or a drogba or, or a jared muller then they're going to head that ball at the back of the net. That, that is not an option Butragueno is going to give you. But he's still an incredible icon and I think 9.2 is deserved. What a player he is. He's just unbelievable. And our five-star weak foot, that is never going to get old. A five-star weak foot is just so helpful, isn't it? And also, it makes you, it makes you kind of, 
and predictable because when you go up against someone who's left footed then you know that guy's gonna make sure he goes on that left foot and then shoot whilst with Boutre he can shoot with either foot and score and of course he doesn't have skills as well I don't know how much of it you guys love skills but I would say his, 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 his agility and balance and dribbling makes up for any kind of lack of skill that he has kind of not deficient